Okay. Hi everyone. So I'm having some technical difficulties. So I'm going to try to connect the music really quickly to my laptop instead of my phone. And then we'll get started. If that doesn't work, we can just flow without music as well. Let's see. So, okay, we've got the music connected. That's a good sign. Okay, perfect. So we'll start the music. And then we will get started. All right. So I also am not allowed to turn my phone sideways, it said, while I record. So I'm gonna just try and back up the camera as much as I can so that you can see my mat still. Um, so if you have a block or two blocks and if you wanna grab a blanket for your Shavasana, you can go ahead and do that. Um, during this flow today, please remember that um, this is your time, especially if you're doing this from home. Allow yourself to really take up space, be comfortable, um, make sure this feels good in your body. Don't do anything that is not feeling good in your body tonight. We really want to focus tonight on what's in our control. A lot of what's going on right now is out of our control, but we still have control over ourselves and the way we feel and taking care of our bodies. So we're really going to be focusing on that tonight. Feel free to stop and grab water at any time. Other than that, let's get started. We're going to begin today in child's pose. So you can begin to sit back on your heels, keeping your legs together or spreading them towards the far edge of your mat. And then begin to crawl the arms forward, letting your chest come down onto the mat. Maybe bringing the forehead down onto the floor. Maybe inching your hands and fingertips towards the top edges of your mat, really opening up the chest and the heart. Beginning to bring your awareness to your breath and your body without changing anything. Just notice where you are tonight. Notice what's feeling tense. Roll your shoulders back and down, away from your ears. Allow your chest to sink farther down towards the mat if you took a wide-legged stance. Begin exhaling your breath all the way out through your mouth. Empty out the breath. Let it all go. And then begin to fill up through the nose, into the belly, into the ribs and the chest, and then open your mouth side out. Do that one more time, inhaling through the nose, filling up as much as you can before sighing out through the mouth, letting the breath go. As you begin to inhale through the nose, crawl your hands towards or off the right side of the mat. Maybe bring the left hand to stack over the right, taking a side stretch. Beginning to engage your ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling out through the nose. Sending your breath towards the back of your throat, creating an audible breath that will sound like the ocean waves crashing. Using the sound of your breath to keep your mind from wandering during your practice and to help connect your breath to your motions. Inhale, crawl the hands through center. And as you exhale, crawl them to the left side of the mat, maybe leaving the mat and maybe bringing that right hand to stack over the left, stretching out the other side. sure my music is not on shuffle, which of course it is. Continuing to breathe, firing up the belly with your breath, maybe setting an intention for your practice tonight. 
It can be a word or a phrase that brings meaning to your emotion. It can be focusing on what's in your control, or you can pick something of your own. Inhaling your hands back through center. On an exhale, rock up into tabletop. Stack the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. Inhale, drop the belly to the floor. Lift the crown of the head for cow. As you exhale, round the spine, tuck the tailbone, drop your gaze for cat. Inhaling and exhaling here at your own breath. Maybe closing the eyes, relaxing the jaw. Maybe making circles in the wrists or the hips. Allowing yourself to move freely and fluidly. Taking up as much space as you need. Really listening to your body. Thinking about releasing tension with every exhale. Come back to your neutral tabletop. Inhale and extend the right arm to the wall in front of you and the left leg towards the wall behind you. Exhale, crunch the knee towards the elbow, round the spine and engage the core. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, round and crunch. Taking three more on this side. At your own breath, using the inhales and the exhales. to help with your mo movement, lengthening on the inhale, and then firing up the core on the exhale. Feeling yourself get longer. You can take five on the other side after you've taken five on your first side. After you've taken five reps on both sides, you can make your way back into your neutral tabletop. From here, you can tuck the toes, begin to press away from the floor, lift the um, knees two or three inches off the ground, round the spine, engage the core, remember to breathe, and then slowly lower the knees back down, take a cow, send your belly to the floor, lift the gaze, inhale. Exhale, around the spine, hover the knees one more time, two or three inches off the mat. And then begin to send your heels towards the mat, letting your hips follow, down or facing dog. Take a few breaths here to pedal out your legs. Melt your shoulders away from your ears, send your chest towards your thighs. Remembering to breathe. Asking if you can still hear that breath you created. Inhale, roll forward, find a high plank. Shoulders stacked over wrists. Glutes and quads and core are engaged. Inhale through the nose as you exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway to the floor, and then come all the way down, untuck the toes, inhale, cobra pose. Take a baby back bend. Exhale, roll down to the floor. Bring your hands on the outside edges of your mat. Tense up the fingers. Inhale, peel up, cobra pose. Opening up the chest a little wider. Exhale, roll back down. This time, bring the hands back by your shoulders, preparing for upward facing dog. Inhale, extend the arms long. Maybe the quads and shins come off the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send the hips back. Pedal out the feet. Take three more breaths here. Long, big, deep breaths. Tension in the lower back. Thinking of re 
releasing with every exhale, allowing yourself to take a bend in the knees. Inhale through the nose, slowly begin to roll up through the spine, bringing the hands up over your head, extend in mountain pose. Exhale, dive down, forward fold, maybe hinging a little deeper. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs, spine is long. Exhale, fold forward, flowing through our half sun A's. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Maybe this time you arch the backs and the gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, spine is long. Exhale, fold forward. Last one here, inhale, extend the mountain pose, sweep the arms up, exhale, side out, fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, this time as you exhale, plant the hands down, step or hop the feet back, chaturanga, lower halfway to the floor, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down or facing dog, Beginning to move into our sun A's. Inhale, send your gaze to your hands. Supper hop, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, supper hop the feet back. Lower halfway to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Up. Inhale, send your gaze to your hands, step or hop, halfway lift, option to flow through your sun A at your own breath, or you can continue flowing with me, exhale, fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, step or hop, chaturanga. We have one more sun A after this, so if you flow on your own, go ahead and take one more. Inhale, send your gaze, step or hop to meet your hands, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward, last one, inhale, extended mountain pose, exhale, fold forward, core is engaged, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, chaturanga, firing up the belly, warming up the body, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your gaze to your hands, bend the knees, step or hop to meet your hands, halfway lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extended mountain pose, sweep the arms up, exhale, chair pose, sit back in your seat, weight is in the heels, chest is lifted, shoulders roll back. Take one more breath in, as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, Exhale, step or hop, chaturanga. Option to always lower the knees on your chaturanga. Lowering down and then pressing up. Exhaling the hips back. Inhale the right leg into the air. Exhale, plant the foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. Foot's at a 90 degree angle. Bend in the right leg. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg into the air. Exhale, plant the foot, lift up on an inhale, warrior one. Melt the hips towards the front of the room. Find equal weight between both legs. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step the left foot back to meet the right, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, bend the knees, send your gaze, step or hop, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, sink one inch lower in your seat, shoulders are rolled back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop your feet back. Lower halfway to the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, inhale the right leg in the air, and then bend the foot towards your bottom. Begin to take big circles in the knee. Like you have a paintbrush attached to your knee, you're painting circles. Take these clockwise and counterclockwise. 
clockwise. Open up the hips, roll out the ankle. Option to flip your dog here for a wild thing by stepping that right foot over. Engaging the core. Making your way back to that three-legged dog. Take a breath in and as you exhale, plant the foot between your hands. Inhale into warrior one. Exhale, windmill back down, step the right foot back to meet the left. Make your way to downward facing dog. Remembering to use your breath. Inhale the left leg into the air. Begin to bend the foot towards your lower back and open up the hips. Making big circles with the knee, clockwise and counterclockwise. Option to flip your dog here as well. Option to just take those leg circles. Finding your way back into that three-legged dog on the left side, take a breath in. And as you exhale, plant the foot between your hands. Inhale into warrior one, hands come up. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back to meet the right. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, send the hips back. Downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg into the air. Exhale, plant the foot between the hands and then allow that left knee to drop. Untuck the left toes. Find a low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, cactus the arms out wide. Draw them down towards your sides. Option to find the clasp behind the lower back, letting the shoulders roll back and down. From here, you can begin to sink the hips back towards your left foot, extending the right leg or taking a slight bend in the knee for half splits. Hands can come down to the mat or blocks. And if full splits are in your practice, you can take those here as well. Sending your breath towards those tense areas allowing yourself to sink deeper, releasing tension with every exhale. Begin to find your way back into your low lunge. Hands are planted on the mat by your right foot. Inhale, peel the right arm open. Option to stay here or to reach back for the left foot, gently pulling the ankle towards you. Stretching out the hamstrings. Taking one more breath here. Releasing that hold if you had it on your foot. Planting the right hand back down on the mat. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up, high lunge. Hips are square, equal weight between both legs. Shoulders are rolled back. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sweep the arms back by your side. Kick off the left foot, warrior three. Hips are melted towards the floor. Using your hand, you can bring your hands down to blocks if you'd like. Taking one more breath here as you exhale, bring your hands down to blocks or the mat in front of you. Kick your left leg towards the ceiling, standing splits. Allow your hip to roll open. Take two more breaths here. On that second exhale, bring the left foot down to meet the right and then step the right foot back, dropping the right knee, untucking the right toes, coming into your low lunge on the other side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms out wide. Draw the chest open. Maybe find the clasp behind your back. Send your gaze to the sky. Open up the hips. Preparing for your half splits. If you want blocks, place those by your sides. Begin to send your hips back towards your right ankle. Maybe straightening out the left leg, sending your chest towards your thigh. Option to come into full splits if those are in your practice, with or without blocks. Can 
continuing to breathe, knowing that you have control over your body. You can allow yourself to release that tension you're holding on to. Inhale, come back into that low lunge. Hands are planted by your left foot. Inhale, peel open to the left. Hand can come up towards the ceiling or it can reach back for that right foot or ankle. Pulling your hand in towards you while you pull your foot away. Creating that stretch. Taking two more breaths here. Before coming back into your low lunge, both hands by your left foot, tucking the right toes, then lifting the right knee. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up, high lunge. Squaring the hips, shoulders are rolled back. Inhale through the nose, core is engaged. Exhale, warrior three. Sweep the arms back, kick off the right foot. Use your gaze and your breath to find balance. Maybe bring hands to a block or playing with your arms in any way that you'd like. On your next exhale, Bring your hands down to the mat or a block. Kick the right leg to the sky. Standing splits on the other side. Think about drawing your chest towards that left thigh. Pulling the belly button in. Engaging the core. Taking one more breath in. As you exhale, lower the right foot to meet the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Spine is long. Exhale, chaturanga. Make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg into the air. Exhale, draw your knee in towards your nose. Round the spine, engage the core. Two more here. Inhale, extend the leg long. Exhale, crunch in. Last one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch in and hold it here. Taking one more breath in, as you exhale, send the right ankle towards your left wrist, then sink down into your half pigeon. Melting the left hip down towards the mat. If you have a lot of space there, you can put a blanket or a block underneath the hip. Sitting up tall on an inhale, maybe bringing the arms up over your head. And then hinging forward on an exhale, maybe coming down to a block blanket or the mat, allowing your hips to open up, stretching out the hamstrings, focusing on your breath, something you can never lose control of, something you always have. Take two more breaths here. And then begin to crawl yourself back up. Gently begin to take that left leg out from behind you, stacking it over the right. You have two options. You can take your cow face, option to put a block between the legs here, or you can stack your shins as well. So one option, another option. Awesome. From here, you can go for a clasp. If you have a strap, you can use that too. Bringing the left arm, sorry, up and melting the hand down between your shoulder blades and then reaching that right hand to meet the left. Maybe finding a clasp at the fingertips. And then if you wanna go a little farther, you can even hinge forward. Creating a deeper stretch in the arms and legs. Taking two more breaths here, nice and slow. Crawling yourself back up. From here, we're just gonna do a little spin. So you can plant your hands down, lift the hips, and just let the body turn in a circle the way it wants to go. And then sink back down into your cow face or stacking your shins and then bringing that right hand up melting the hands down between the shoulder blades 
I can't find the clasp on this side, but you have the option to do that with or without a strap or a blanket or a t-shirt or a cloth or really anything. And then maybe folding forward over the legs. Once you get there, taking two more breaths, allowing whatever sensations you feel to come up and then to go, to letting, letting them go with an exhale. Allowing that tension to release, allowing any sensations or emotions, physically or mentally, to release from your body with an exhale. Coming back up and then gently taking that right leg off the left and sending it back behind you. You can find your half pigeon on the other side. Again, if you have space between the floor and your hip, your right hip, you can place something to add a little support there. Inhaling the arms up and then exhaling, maybe crawling them out again onto a pillow or a block or maybe letting yourself come all the way down onto the mat. Adjusting your, the position of your foot if you have to, as long as it doesn't come up past your knee, you can really play around with where that foot goes. Checking in on that breath, asking if you can still hear it. Relaxing your face and your jaw, the space between your eyes, trying to relax the neck. And inhale, begin to crawl yourself back up, planting the hands down on the mat in front of you. Tuck the right toes, begin to lift the hips and the knee, and then send that left foot back to meet the right, Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg into the air. Exhale, place the foot on the outside of the right hand. Keeping that left knee hovered for a moment, try and scooch the, toe, the left toes back as far as you can. And then you can let that left knee drop to the floor, untucking the toes. Often to stay here, you can gently take that right hand and open up the right hip for a lizard, or you can come down onto your forearms or a block. Let the hip fall open, let your toes fall in the same direction that your knee is going. Or if you want to take lizard with your left knee lifted, you can, and you can try and go for a bind, sending the right arm under the right thigh, up and back behind your lower back, and then you bring the left hand to meet the right. Really engaging, adding a core element there. <clears throat> Taking one more breath wherever you are. Plant the hands back down on the mat. You can now place the right hand on the out, um, the, yeah, the outside of the right foot so the foot is back in the middle. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee, inhale, sweep the arms up, high lunge. Exhale, hands through heart center, twist right, hook the left elbow over the right knee. You can stay here, you have the option to drop that knee always. You can open up the arms, drawing the belly button back towards your spine to create space for a twist. Remembering to breathe, taking one more breath here, exhaling through the nose. On your next inhale, sweep the arms to center, step the left foot to meet the right, find chair pose. Sink down, feet are together, hip width distance apart. Inhale, chest is lifted. Exhale, hands through heart center, twist left. Hook the right elbow over the left knee. Option to open up the arms here for a deeper twist. Maybe taking a half bind. Sending that left hand towards the right hip crease. Inhale, chair pose, hands through center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop the feet back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg into the air. Exhale, plant that foot down on the outside of the left hand. 
before dropping the right knee, scooch the toes back as far as you can, and then drop the knee, untuck the toes, coming into whichever variation of lizard pose that you'd like. Again, options were to gently send the left leg out, maybe come down onto the forearms, or maybe go for the bind with the knee lifted. Really focusing on the breath, allowing those hips to open up, paying attention to what sensations you feel, but not holding on to them, allowing yourself to let them go. Taking one more breath in, as you exhale, begin to plant the hands back down. Now the left foot is inside of the hands, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee, inhale, sweep the arms up, high lunge. Hips are square, exhale, hands through heart center, twist left, hook the right elbow over the left knee, option to open up the arms. Finding still equal balance between both legs, drawing the belly button in. Maybe taking a half bind here, letting the gaze fall over the left shoulder. Inhale, hands through center, step the right foot to meet the left chair pose. Chest is lifted. Exhale, hands through heart center, twist right. Hook the left elbow over the right knee. Draw the belly button into the spine, option to open the arms. Maybe taking that half bind, sending the right hand towards the left hip crease. Taking one more breath here, exhaling all the way out. Inhale, hands through center, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Take your peace sign fingers to your big toes. Let the elbows draw out towards the sides. Maybe take a bit of a wider stance, maybe bend the knees. Fold forward, draw your chest towards your um, legs. Maybe allowing yourself to exhale out through the mouth. Taking big, ugly exhales, getting all that stale energy out. Take two more breaths here. Make them nice and long. Allow yourself to breathe fully and completely. Inhale, release the clasp, halfway lift, Hands to shins, your thighs, spine is long. Exhale, chaturanga, step or hop the feet back. Or you can just send the hips back down or facing dog. You can always take out your chaturanga. Inhale, the right leg into the air. Exhale, plant the foot down. Inhale, up into warrior one. Exhale, windmill open, warrior two. Hips and shoulders are open. You still have a bend in the right leg. Back foot is in line with the back edge of the mat. Inhale, begin to straighten the right leg. Hinge forward towards the front of the room as much as you can, and then drop the right hand towards the ankle or a block on an exhale, triangle pose. Gaze can come to the floor or it can come to the ceiling. Engaging the core, drawing everything towards center. Exhale, both hands down to the floor. Option to shorten the stance slightly here. Inhale, twist open to the right, revolve triangle. Option to draw the chest down towards the right thigh. Still drawing the belly button in towards the back of your spine. Creating space to twist. Preparing for half moon, if you wanna use a block, you can place that now a couple inches past your toes. Exhale, draw both hands down to the mat. Square the hips and kick off the left foot. From here, you're peeling open towards the left, engaging all the way through the fingers and toes, half moon. If your hands whew, on a block, maybe try lifting it for a second. Taking one more breath here. Um, sorry. Then begin to, without letting the foot, the left foot touch the ground, send your hips towards the front of the room, 
draw the leg up so that you have a, a 95 degree bend. From here, you have two options. You can find your tree pose, bringing the foot down at the ankle, calf, or thigh. Or if you want to find your half lotus, you can by tucking that left foot over the right thigh. If you took your half lotus, you could try taking that forward fold. And if you take your tree pose, you can play with arm movements, maybe spreading your branches, letting them wave side to side in the wind. Taking one more breath here. And then on an exhale, you're going to slowly make your way back into warrior two. So bring the um, left foot back out to hover and then step it back, windmill the arms out, find warrior two, take some pressure off that right ankle, and then begin to prepare for your goddess pose. I'm gonna face this way. Um, send your toes out as wide as they comfortably can Letting your knees follow the direction of your toes. Legs are still extended long. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, drop down into your squat. Let the hips open up. Option to come up onto the balls of your feet here. Core is engaged. Spine is long. Inhale, extend the legs. Send the arms up. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Toes are facing the front. Of the, or the long edge of your mat. Option to crawl the hands towards one side and then maybe the other. Or you can crawl the hands through your legs. Place your hands on the mat in front of you. Inhale, take a halfway lift. And then crawl your hands back towards the top end of your mat, let your body follow the direction of your hands, and then step the left foot back to meet the right, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale the left leg into the air, exhale, plant the foot between the hands, inhale, find your warrior one, and as you exhale, windmill open into warrior two, Inhale, extend the left leg, begin to hinge forward, sending the left hand towards the front of the room as far as it goes, and then exhaling, dropping the left hand towards the ankle or a block for triangle, engaging the core and glutes, drawing everything towards your center body, protecting the lower back, gaze is at your right or left hand. Taking one more breath here, as you exhale, Bring both hands down to meet the floor. Again, option to shorten that stance slightly. And then you can inhale and peel open to the left, sending the gaze towards the ceiling. Maybe drawing that chest slightly down towards your thigh, getting a bit more of a hamstring stretch as well. Preparing for half moon on this side. You can place your block out in front of you. Exhale, both hands down to the mat or block. Kick off the right foot, peel open to the right for your half moon on the other side. Hips are opening towards the side wall, flexing all the way through the toes. Slowly beginning to square the hips down towards the floor, warrior three. Then draw the leg up, bending the knee, lifting the foot off the ground, finding your tree pose or your half locus. Playing with some variations there for a couple breaths. Maybe taking a forward fold. Really opening up the hips, stretching out the hamstring, or playing with your arms and tree. Taking two more breaths. On that second exhale, you're coming back into that um, 95 degree angle, bend in the knee, and then you're slowly stepping the foot back, finding your warrior two. 
before finding your goddess pose by sending both toes out on an inhale, extending the legs, sweeping the arms up, and then exhaling down into your goddess pose. So I plan this to be an hour, and I hope that's okay. If you have to leave early, you can always just log off, and I would recommend doing like a three to five minute shavasana for yourself at the end as well. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, wide-legged forward fold. We might finish a little under an hour as well. Taking any variation you want here, maybe drawing the chest down towards your thighs. Maybe rocking side to side, releasing tension. Plant the hands down on the mat in front of you. Inhale, halfway lift. Crawl the hands to the front. Step the left foot back to meet the right. This time as you exhale, lower halfway, and then all the way down to the floor. Let your cheek rest on the mat. Bring your hands down by your sides, palms facing the floor. Preparing for a locust pose, zip your feet and legs together. You have the option to lift with your hands by your sides, or you can find a clasp behind your back, rolling the shoulders down away from the ears and then lifting there. Either option is totally cool. Inhale, lift everything. Engaging the glutes, spreading open the chest, making sure the shoulders are rolled back. Taking one more breath in and then lowering down to the floor. We're gonna do that one more time. This time if you'd like to take your bow pose by bending your feet towards your back and then grabbing the ankles, lifting from there you can. Inhaling into your locust or bow. Using your breath to rock on the belly in your bow. Giving yourself a nice belly massage. Whew. Taking two more breaths wherever you are. Before slowly lowering yourself back down, windshield wiping out the legs, side to side. And then from here, bringing your arms out into a T, preparing for shoulder rolls. We're gonna take them on the right side first. So you're going to draw the foot in towards your bottom and then begin to roll the body open towards the left. Bringing the foot down to the floor or a block. You can bend that right arm to take a cactus and really stretch out that left shoulder. Or if you want a deeper stretch, you can bring the right hand gonna do it on this side so you can see better. You can bring the right hand around to meet the left, finding a clasp, and you can even hook your foot in that clasp, gently pulling the foot away, drawing the shoulders back. Once you find whatever variation you like, try and take three long breaths there. Before rolling on towards the left side or rolling the left shoulder open towards the right side. So you're sending the left foot in and then peeling open towards the right, maybe bringing that left hand back and around to find the right hand. Or you can definitely leave that left hand planted down on the mat, taking three long breaths on that side. After you take those breaths, you can slowly come out of that shoulder roll and then roll all the way out to your back. Preparing for bridge pose, plant your feet on the floor, sending your knees towards the ceiling. Um, you have the option to take whatever kind of bridge you like. If you'd like to take a restorative bridge, you can place the block underneath of your lower back and just really allow tension to release. Hands can be down by your side or up over 
your head. You can do the same without the block beneath you. Or you can take a clasp underneath of your back like we've done with other poses. So either is fine. On your next inhale, come into your bridge pose. Hope my phone does not die. <laughs> um, setting the hips towards the ceiling, engaging the glutes. Being sure not to over tuck the chin or overextend the neck. You want to still try and find that neutral neck position. Engaging the core, continuing to breathe, and then slowly um, lowering back down. If you took a restorative bridge, you can just hang out here um, unless you want to take a wheel pose or a different variation this time around. So everyone else, we're going to uh, lift back up on an inhale, option to take wheel by tucking the hands by your shoulders and lifting the hips towards the ceiling. Or you can take that bridge again. Inhaling and lifting, finding your pose, and then taking five long breaths there. Really envisioning yourself, releasing tension you're holding on to. If you took wheel, really setting your chest towards the wall that you're facing. Appreciating the control that you have over your own body and how filling your own cup will allow you to overflow into others. Coming back down after those five breaths, you can hug your knees into your chest, begin to rock side to side. Releasing tension in the spine and the lower back. begin to rock instead of side to side forward and back rocking all the way up into your boat pose trying to catch yourself on those sit bones uh, shins are parallel to the floor bring your hands up and behind your head elbows fall open from here begin to take your bicycles drawing the right elbow towards the left knee and then switching just a tiny bit more core here for five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and then you can drop the legs down, coming into your staff pose. Inhale, draw the right foot up, hook it over the left leg, and then place it down on the mat. Inhale, the arms up, twisting to the right, hook that left elbow over the right knee. Right hand can come down on the mat behind you. Inhaling, sitting up tall. Exhaling a little farther into that twist. Gaze can follow all the way over your shoulder. Inhale through center and then switch legs. Drawing that left foot over the right leg. And then sweeping the arms up on an inhale, twisting on an exhale. Placing that right elbow over the left knee. Sitting up tall, inhaling the belly button towards your spine. Letting your gaze fall over the left shoulder. Taking big, deep breaths. Letting go of something no longer serving you. With every exhale. Inhaling something that does. Begin to come out of that twist, sending both legs first out in front of you and then drawing them open as far as is comfortable for you. And from here, you can place blocks, a blanket, or you can just center your chest towards the floor. Think about really hinging forward at the hips and then crawling your chest down towards the floor. Maybe bringing the head down to the floor as well. Just letting yourself open up. Maybe setting the arms out long or out towards your feet. If that feels good in your body. 
allowing yourself to open up a tiny bit more with each exhale. Reminding yourself that you have control over your body and that you can use your breath to relax those muscles and release the tension there. On your next inhale, slowly begin to roll up through the spine so that you're sitting tall. Draw the legs back together and then slowly roll down through the spine so that you're all the way on your back. Bring the arms up over your head. Let your hands find a clasp. I'm going to face this way. And flip away from your body. And then let them drop on the floor over top of your head. Take a full body stretch. Allow yourself to get nice and long. Take up space. Do a full body scan from your fingers all the way down to your toes. Make sure you are relaxing fully, releasing tension in the forehead and the jaw. Roll the shoulders down and away from your ears. Release tension you're holding in your legs, in your ankles and toes. Taking long, deep breaths here, allowing yourself to exhale out through the mouth if that feels good in your body. Preparing for a short Shavasana, you can keep your hands here, or if you'd like, you can draw the bottoms of your feet together and let the knees fall open, maybe to blocks for bound angle pose. Or you could even bring a blanket beneath your knees. Placing the blocks vertically beneath your spine. Allowing yourself to fall open that way. Whatever you decide is totally fine. You can even just extend the legs long, bringing your hands down onto the mat or on your chest and belly. Just allow yourself to get comfortable, fully surrendering to the ground beneath you, focusing solely on the breath, letting your thoughts wander across your mind like clouds in the sky, letting them come and go without giving them any special attention or thought. Just holding on to that beautiful breath you created for yourself a little while longer. Shavasana.
slowly begin to bring your awareness back to this moment, creating small movements, wiggling the toes and the fingers, rolling out the ankles and the wrists. Then rolling the shoulders, rolling the jaw, beginning to wiggle out the legs. When you're ready before making your way onto that favorite side you have, gently begin to hug the knees in. Come into as small as a ball as you can. Give yourself a big hug. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale out through the mouth, allow yourself to release and roll onto your favorite side, letting your head rest in your arms, maybe keeping the eyes closed, allowing yourself to hold on to your breath a little while longer. And before coming up into that seated position, take a moment to list three things in your head that you have control over right now. Three positive things in your life that are serving you, that are in your control, that are going good for you right now. Three things that you're grateful for that you have. And after you've envisioned those three things, Allow yourself to take three more big breaths, exhaling out through the mouth and releasing one to three things that are no longer serving you, that you are going to let go of right here, right now. Taking a moment to take big breaths in and exhaling, letting go all the way. And after those final breaths, you can slowly begin to make your way up into a seated position, finding something that's comfortable for you. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. I know I had some technical difficulties at the beginning, but thank you for those that stuck with me, got through it. I wrote a bit of a longer practice, I think, we all deserve a little more time for ourselves during so much time of uncertainty. So really remembering what we have control over, focusing on that, filling up our own cups so that we can give to others and protect others in the best way we can is so important right now. So thank you so much for coming. Bring our hands to heart center. The light and love and teacher in me honors and respects and cherishes the light and love and teacher in all of you. Namaste. Have a good night, everyone.